Hey guys, so this video is going to be different. We're going to do a recap of everything that's been going on in the game um, and go over a couple things. So if you don't want to listen to us talk about everything that we've done and some other interesting things, go ahead and skip to the next video because none of this video is going to include anything uh, storyline. Well, we're not well nothing that on. advances the plot. Yeah, we're not going to advance the plot any. First thing is, you're probably wondering why I'm here. Uh, in an earlier video, I was in the bathhouse just showing on off, and my phone rang, and so I paused the recording, and I came back, and I noticed that everyone's faces were red. I didn't notice this until later, after I had already uploaded to YouTube. I actually did put an annotation in. I did not know they did that, so I really want to see if something happens after a long time. So I want to see if he, like, gets out of the bath, or, like, passes out, or anything. So, I'm, that's why I'm sitting in the bath this whole time. Um... So, that can be interesting. Um, the other thing I want to mention is I did get a comment from somebody um, about my vo my uh, doing voices for certain characters. I mentioned at the very beginning I did Luke, because I like Luke, but he's male. Um, and somebody else commented that I did another- I did it again with Kirkus, and I think it- yeah, so they were commenting those doing all these voices for males. I'm quite aware these people are male, I mean, besides the fact that I was retarded with Quincy. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, Templeton is male, um, Cassios is male, and I did Cassios' voice. Um, I know all these people's genders. Um, I just like to do their voices. Like, I know Milch seems male, and many people think he is male, but I'm doing his voice. Um, it just seems so. like it's a better fit sometimes. Yeah, with Cassios, most people don't know if he's male, so I just kind of did his voice because of that. Yeah, I would have guessed that was female. Yeah, and if you didn't wonder who Cassios is, it's uh, Milch's singer. It's the person who does the music, so... Okay, having said all that... <laughs> um, so I want to recap everything that's going on in the game. We are playing Suikoden 1 by Konami. Um, this game is... In timeline of all the Suikoden games, it's between Suikoden 5 and Suikoden 2. So um, I haven't really talked about the overall story, but we're in the Scarlet Moon Empire. And there's currently a civil war going on between this, this empire and something called the Liberation Army. They're trying to overthrow the empire and create a new free country for everybody. Because the emperor's doing all these horrible things and people are getting tired of his rule. And a lot of people are blaming it on his new court magician, Wendy. And as we've been progressing in the game, we've realized that it looks like she's pulling all the strings and it's not really the emperor. So she seems to be the main bad guy, not the emperor. And when we started off, we were the, well, we still are, the son of a, one of the five great generals, uh, Tio. And after some incidents, you know, we um, became involved with the Liberation Army, and then we took over the Liberation Army. Oh my gosh, I'm getting really red. And we took out uh, Kwanda, the first of uh, the great generals, and then we took out Milch, Milch, and they both joined us because they've realized the Emperor has changed and he's not the same man he was and we we need to solve that problem. And, and not only that, but they were being controlled by the black rune. That yes, was on their hands. Wendy had given them a black rune to control monsters and it was, you know, taking over their personalities and making them do stupid things like uh, Kwanda destroyed the village of the elves and pretty much the entire population of elves in this area. There's a few left, but for the most part, the population of elves is now destroyed in the Scarlet Moon Empire. And uh, we have the dwarves on our side, the kobolds, pretty much. Um, and Milch, Milch killed uh, one of our servants, Grimio, which was a very sad event. Um, but Milch has seen his, you know, his mistakes now that the Black Rune no longer controls him, and the Black Rune no longer controls Kwanda. And currently, what's going on right now? is Tio, our father, who's the third great general, is fighting us. And we're having difficulties fighting him because he's got one of the strongest cavalry armies or cavalries in the empire. And we can't even scratch him. So we're about to figure out how to take care of that problem. But like I said, we're about a little about halfway, I think. If not just, you know, just barely there. But yeah, I wanted to recap everything we've done, because I know we've been pretty silly, and I'm not really sure if our silliness is getting in the way of, you know, you guys concentrating on what's really going on. But like I said, I think Suikoden is really about the story, and I wanted to make sure that you guys knew exactly what was going on. And 
And this Suikoden is focused on civil war. There's no other countries involved. We've mentioned the city-states of Jousten above us. And I don't think we've mentioned the island nations below us. But Shh, we don't know about them yet. Well, it doesn't matter because they're going to come up this weekend too anyway. But to the south is the uh, island nations. Um, and do you have anything else to say, Icon? Um, it this well, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward story. It's kind of a you know, we're just going through the five generals areas basically. Oh, so that was the main plot. Uh, the subplot in this weekend is also the fact that at the very beginning of the game, our friend Tio turned out to be over three hundred years old because he had a true rune, and he gave us the true rune. Um, so Wait, we had this. Mean our friend Ted? What did I say? Tio. Oh yeah, Ted. Sorry. <laughs> our friend Tio. Ted. <laughs> Ted. Ted gave it to us, and um, we haven't seen Ted since because he uh, went with the Empire to protect us. Um, Lady Windy is after our rune, and we don't know why yet exactly, but she's after us, and so we have to keep the rune safe. Um, so that's the subplot going on there with us, personally. I was kind of hoping something else would happen besides him, like, turning beet red. Like, him passing out would be pretty funny. Yeah, I can just totally see us getting the game over after he drowns in the hot tub. <laughs> that would be awful. I'm just excited to find new things in this game that I've never noticed. Like, I've never done this. I've never just sat in the bath and stared at him before, you know, for a couple minutes. Um, so that was really exciting for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really know if I have anything else to say at the moment. Do you? Um, no, not not particularly. I mean, it's 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 a pretty straightforward story. So yeah, as far as where we're at right now, we are currently, like you said, working to get back at To. Yeah. And so we're gonna have to figure out something to deal with his cavalry, and he's the third great general that we're gonna have to deal with. So. Yeah. So, I guess that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew what was going on, and. Um, because I know we've been pretty silly. Um, so, yeah. I guess we'll get out of the bath now and move on with our lives in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.